It is Black History Month, and a link to Las Vegas' African-American hidden history is on the Federal Register of Historic Places. The Harrison House in historic West Las Vegas housed our city's black entertainers in the 1940s and 50s. Nia Wong tells us how segregation created a refuge while carving out a place in history. Tucked away in the historic West Side is a humble home which embraced some of the biggest musical acts who weren't welcome to stay among the bright lights of the Strip. The 50s attracted big names, both black and white, to the Strip, transforming the times to an age of extravagance, an era not too long ago. Blacks were not allowed to gamble in the casino. And blacks could not stay on what we now lovingly call the strip. Whether you were headlining or not, that was the rules that prevailed. And not even if you were the legendary, renowned jazz singer Sammy Davis Jr. After his shows, Sammy would be shown the back door and make his way to the other side of town. We stayed on the west side of Vegas. Here, nestled on the corner of F Street and West Adams, is the place where Sammy and other African Americans would experience a reminder, yet reprieve from segregation. It was a, a uh, entertainers place to just kind of unwind and and just do what they loved but without the the expectation of, of a show. Ashanti McGee is the president of Harrison House. In the mid-21st century this was one of several boarding houses in West Las Vegas where black people were allowed to rest their heads for the night. If you were traveling, if you needed a place to stay, if you were performing or or just um, you know, just trying to do your job. Um, it was essential to be able to find a place that that um, would accept you, really. Since the 1940s, McGee says black businessmen, travelers, couples seeking divorces, and other famous artists have graced the halls of Harrison House. There was um, a story that I had read about a woman who remembers that as a child, she, as well as a few other children, would see um, Nat King Cole at the <laughs> at the porch. Um, in front of the house, you know, just kind of minded his own business, and eventually uh, the children would come up to him and talk to him, and, and they would actually show um, him their report cards and tell them how they were doing in school, and so he would always congratulate them. And um, so you, you definitely saw a side of, of this um, entertainer, you know, just being a person and, and being so involved with the community. No matter what race you were, everyone was welcome at the Harrison House. Even a wily group of famous friends who would visit Davis here and eventually pressure the Sands Casino into allowing African Americans to stay and work in the now defunct hotel. An event part of a chain reaction eventually leading to the desegregation of the Strip. I saw it do this, thanks to good people within the community. Nia Wong, 8 News Now. And tours of the Harrison House are free to the public Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can check out all of our Black History Month stories online at LasVegasNow.com. Just search for Hidden History. And still